Good evening. We'd like to call the Committee of Property Management to order. First order of business is approving the minutes. Do I have a motion on that? So moved. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? Okay. We got a new commissioner. Commissioner Santos is on board. Uh, I know he won't know about the last minutes, but if there's no request of <coughs> that motion uh, to approve the minutes by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Motion passed. Okay. First order of business, Blue Star Memorial. Mr. Mayor. Okay. Take one of those and pass them around, please. <laughs> what we have here is a request from four of the garden clubs of Rutherford County, the Federated Garden Clubs of Murfreesboro which includes the Flower Growers Garden Club, the Garden Lovers Club, the Optimistic Gardeners Club, and the Stones River Garden Club. What they want to do is to put this Blue Star Memorial here on the courthouse grounds. In that now these, these markers, I'm sure most of you have seen some of these markers, are there in a substantial number of locations across the uh, this state and everywhere else. These are put up to honor all the men and women who have served and are serving or will serve in the armed forces of the United States. And so that's, this is a special project. These uh, garden clubs, these, this Federation of Garden Clubs has underway and they've been doing this. And I thought I had a note here of how many. There are, uh, let's see, there are 58 garden clubs. They already have 20 of these markers in just their district. And seven of those are in welcome centers and rest areas and, and other places. There is one of these. It's not like this, but it's a Blue Star Memorial that's, that's even at the uh, War Memorial Plaza on the Tennessee Capitol. So they're putting these everywhere that they can get them. They'll pay for this. We just have to find a place for it to be put. And um, we've identified a, a place or two out here that would be appropriate for this to go. So. It's about, it, the size of this is about this. If any of you that know about the Confederate marker that notices mm -hmm. forest is raid right here, it's about that size. And we'll find a place where it won't interfere with the concerts and other things and the Christmas decor, uh, Christmas lighting, et cetera. But there could be a place it would be workable. So that's the request here before you. Mr. Taylor, I, I think this is honorable that uh, that we would we, we should as a county recognize our armed forces and we we got uh, the fallen firefighter and memorial and the fallen police officer memorial. Um, you know, I think this is a good thing. And we don't have anything like this. Mm -hmm. I'm making a motion to be approved. Got a motion to be approved. <laughs> second. Got a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Motion passed. You know. And without that being included in the in the Just motion, the letter. I'll well, you, yeah. without objection, <laughs> the mayor and the city of Murfreesboro will determine the most appropriate spot to put that. Okay. <laughs> right. That's fine. That'll work. That, that's in my. That'd be in my. I know. That's fine. <laughs> you did say that. Yeah. Did. <laughs> okay. Okay. And the garden clubs are going to keep flowers and stuff. Well, I don't know about that. The city of Murfreesboro does a really nice job with their flowers and sure the landscaping up here. So we hope they can just integrate that into what they're already doing. <laughs> Okay. Adult Detention Center Kitchen Expansion and Renovation. Okay. <coughs> Sheriff we need to invite Mr. Sheriff up here. Yep. Okay. Let's see here. What we're going to do. Here's 
to make this a real please. I came back. Okay. We've uh, 20. 20. We're good. The, uh, you know, we've had over the last couple of years, really, I guess, some discussion about remodeling, renovating, expanded, et cetera, the, uh, the sheriff's uh, administrative area, the jail area, the kitchen, et cetera. And since we've had this bit of this difficulty with the existing kitchen, we're just doing some temporary things right now to uh, actually uh, sort of get a, keep us in compliance till we can do the substantial remediation project. What this would do is it would renovate, if you look at that little letter, it would renovate about 4,400 square feet of what's in the existing kitchen and we'd be adding 2,528 square feet. Um, we would be completely redesigning the entire kitchen, how it flows and how the work uh, it takes place with respect to the preparation of food, delivery of food, etc. <coughs> It'd be a complete overhaul. And this is something that was part of the original uh, proposal. We have come this far to determine right now that we're not quite in a position to spend the eight to ten million dollars. So, but this right here sounds like a lot of money for a small project, but you, uh, I have some documentation. This, after you, this, in this $1.2 million approximately that we think this is going to take to do this, about $300,000 of that is uh, plus the overhead for that 375000 total would be just for the equipment itself. There is a lot of equipment that goes in a kitchen this size that services these many people. This kitchen has been undersized since the beginning of time, uh, very much undersized. So this is, this is what we're proposing to do right now as, as first phase, and this doesn't have anything to do with or complicating what we want to do in the future. This complements that. This can be done independently. It, has, it won't uh, have any bearing or on any future work as far as the, all of the rest of the scope of what needed to be done. So what we need this group to consider I need you to consider the concept of this first, which spending this much money on this particular uh, project, and we'll have to go forward to budget to see where the money is going to actually come from, whether we're going to borrow it or whether we're going to use some of the litigation funds. There's probably not enough money there. So, And if you approve of the concept, we, in order to get to the point of actually preparing working drawings, et cetera, where we can take bids, under the assumption this gets fully up, approved, what we really need is a <coughs> authority for us to execute a contract with the architectural firm that's been working with us for a couple of years or more, which would be approximately $78,000. So that's, <coughs> that's what we're asking you to consider, approving the uh, execution of an agreement to actually draw the plans and specs and put it out for bids and then through the whole course of that before we actually do that we'll see if we can get a consensus from the whole board of commissioners that, that they want to pursue this project and I guess this is through your management out there and finding this and plus also finding out through a, a, a state inspection correct so correct. Well, this if we spend this money today and do the kitchen renovation it will reduce the bottom line when we do a jail expansion Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. It would come straight off the top of so what we were going to have to spend because this is exactly what was in the initial set of plans. We're just pulling that out because that kitchen sits back there by itself and you can do this work and do this expansion independent of all the other work. So before the estimate for the jail renovation and expansion was around $10 million, this comes off one, one this, this comes million. off the, Yeah, this comes off the this top. This would come off of that. <clears throat> So it's not we're not, we're not going to be spending good money after bad by no. by, some, by the future we no. come back Instead and do it. Making, no, this is exactly what was on the plans. Instead of making one project, we're doing it almost phases. Yeah. Phases. Yeah. 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 phases. Yes, sir. And the kitchen is. I've, I've taken a tour over there, and it's uh, it needs some work. And I guess we argued in the about building Stewart Creek High School about the core for the school where the kitchens couldn't be expanded at the high schools. It's kind of the same way at the jail. We're running out of room for. Making mm -hmm. enough meals yes. to keep up. To, to give, uh, as I know, I've been on the commission in a while, and as chairman of public safety, to give some of the newer commissioners uh, something to think about on this. 
the jail was actually built for actually half the population that's over there now. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We actually had to go on and there were single cells uh, that were actually, when it was first built, where only one person could be in a cell. We had to go in later on and because the population had grown, we had to add another uh, bunk in there where it's a, a two person cell. So it actually doubled in, in, in population basically in two or three years. So when the core of the facility was built, it was built for basically half, half of what we got. Of what we got now, we built and, for 500, and, roughly 500 right. inmates. So that, that's kind of the, the history of it in, in, a, in a nutshell. But um, it's it's not it hadn't been big enough for, for a long time. So I think you moved into it in 1990. 99 or 98. 98 yeah. it was right before I started. What's a what's a time frame on this? I know we I know we've solved the logistics problem with. Utilizing the workhouse for the workhouse meals. started two days ago doing the meals for us. Uh, they started the day of pulling all the equipment out of the uh, kitchen. Uh, the timeline th that's just doing temporary repairs or doing repairs that need to be done right now. We'll put it all back together and then we we've got you know what the timeline is. Y'all put on us to to get this done. Right. Naturally, the sooner the better, but uh, you know it's one of these things. That it, it'll take two to three months to get the plans working drawings developed if we yeah, and, get approval and, and at the next commission level to do it. Yeah. And in the contract, there'll be a certain amount of days that will be in contracted mm -hmm. that they'll have to start to finish. So it, it will take, from now to then, will be a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you're coming to us at this point, <coughs> the, the kitchen renovations, does does that mean the rest of this fiscal year you, you won't be coming forward with the remainder of the project? Or will you be coming forward with the, oh, the I, other? I might <laughs> later on, closer toward next budget year, you know, I might ask. Yeah. Like everything else, I might ask. I'll yeah. ask for the moon. You tell me no. I guess I'm, I'll ask. I guess I'm just asking the question because it seems like you've split up the project. Well, this is two. a project that we've had to split up. Mm -hmm. This is something that's, uh, that's a half to, uh, to split up. We don't, I mean, we could still do it all at once. If you want to approve the money, we'll do it all. You know, together, well, but uh, I don't. I don't think we'll be coming back this fiscal yeah. year for anything else but this. Next fiscal year, we don't know about that yet. It really depends on the big picture next fiscal year on whether we could even consider it or not. Period. On the I just ask so that when the budget committee looks at this, they'll have some sense of what else is. Yeah. is no, no, right now this is it. This is all I'm going to burden y'all with right now. Remember, for this is what you want. You said something about the litigation tax. If we don't have enough money in the litigation tax to pay for this, will there be any savings from the bond issue for the high school that we got that well, we can maybe roll into that's, paying that's, for half of it or part of it? Or That's another whole discussion for the budget committee and the health and ed committee and the commission. To say about the I, budget committee, and I, I would suggest it's going to be very, very tight. Yeah. I don't think that there'll be that much money, if any, left over yeah. from that Wilding. particular uh, uh, Commissioner, bond. This, this is kind of, uh, without going into a lot of detail, but this is kind of a, a necessity. Basically, uh, the sheriff has had a, an inspection out there, and this is part of the findings that actually needs to be fixed, and uh, and it's 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 very much needed and it's it's something that the county has got to get taken care of uh, it's an expensive project but it could be uh, even more yeah my thinking on it <clears throat> I hate to see us go out there and do a little repair a little repair a little repair a little repair then all of a sudden we wish we had went ahead and renovated the whole kitchen you know, we can just utilize if, if you, that money to go ahead and do the whole project and be through with it because there's one thing about it, we're going to have to do something. The states say that. So we throw a little money in there and repair it, and then two months later we got to repair it, and, you know, you, that money can be utilized for this whole project. Basically with this project, it will be the, the proper size for 958 right. inmates, and, and that's we, what we are allowed to hold by. It will not decrease in any. Yeah, we're not, yeah. If you piecemeal it, it's going to cost more in the long run. It's going to cost more in the long run. With that being said, I mean, I, I'll make a motion that we approve the project and send it to the budget committee to figure out. Uh, Got a motion? Second. Got a second. Any more discussion? Our representative on budget better get all this information. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going to get some questions. If you like, come on, go to jail. <laughs> 
if not, we'll any other questions? Any other discussions? Yes. Call the roll. Commissioner Baum? Yes. Commissioner Coggin? Yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Commissioner Farley? Yes. Commissioner Serino? Yes. Commissioner Young? Yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Okay. Since we got the sheriff up here, the next adult, oh, okay. adult detention center break remediation update. Everything else here is just an update. There's no other decisions that need to be made. The, uh, the, final, the plans have been completed and the specs uh, with them, and we have already put this out for bids to do this brick remediation that you've heard about over the course of the last six months or more. And we're going to take bids on that on October the 11th. So uh, that's done, and we, the rest of these things we'll just give you brief updates on, Mr. Chairman. The uh, Midland Foster Fire Building, uh, again, we're on to iteration number five from a request from their department, but it's a minor request, and we think we have finalized the footprint and floor plan of that building, and Mr. Busey, hopefully, can start drawing the actual working drawing so we can get a bid taken on that. Let in, me in, in, interrupt you, Mayor. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm speak up for our staff and our mayor on this project. Mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, been working diligently to get this taken care of for the, the community out there. Mm -hmm. And it's been the uh, the fosterful uh, fire chief, and I has has changed his mind on a lot of things, and, and it's caused some delays, and, and that's why this hadn't been going. Okay, thank you, Chair. Hey, you're not going to stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the rest of these are pretty pretty quick. We uh, in the Paula surgical suite, they're working on actually the laying of the blocks and the wall partitions there. And those were special blocks, I think I told you, but that's a special order that they are waterproof, et cetera, before they're placed in there. So, but that work is going on, so it'll start moving along moving pretty quickly. Okay, here. What about that HVAC unit out there? Well, the mayor hadn't taken care of that problem yet. <laughs> 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 We're just reporting on the oh, surgical. Okay. Let's see. The county fire rescue building there, uh, there is a retaining wall and that goes around the building, the property basically, and they're, they're working on that retaining wall so that they can, once they get that in place, and they can start the fill of the rock and the, the dirt and whatever. The, before they can actually put the pad of the building on. So they, it's it's moving along. It doesn't look like a lot of progress, but once they get going, they'll, it'll go a lot faster. We are uh, have already taken the bids on this Smyrna Health Department. You know that? Yeah. And we should actually sign the contract maybe tomorrow. They hadn't got all the paperwork to me yet, but it's it's a done thing. And we did take the basically the low bid that was acceptable. Yeah. And then we had to change one of the unit prices, and we got that work down, so we're ready to move that forward. Well, some good bids came in on Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have. Any questions on any of the projects, ongoing projects? What about doing a tour out at the Sheriff's Department for property management, or is public safety going to do that, or uh, both maybe? The, well, the Sheriff and I have, have talked about having a uh, – uh, I, like we did last year, a special call meeting for the, the public safety, and but uh, we can probably do a combined public safety property management, you know. Um, but but the sheriff and I have been in discussions about that. Yeah, we can do a combined one of both committees. But mm -hmm. I, I if my memory recall me <laughs> on public safety, we do have an inspection of the jail. Every month prior to the meeting. No, uh, that's where people. It used to, it used to be years yeah. ago, but what what has happened over the years? People they're trying to get off from their job mm -hmm. and doing that. And so what we've been doing is basically annually mm -hmm. having a having a tour of the facility, and uh, but someone trying to get off work at mm -hmm. three thirty four o'clock to you tour know, the jail. To tour the jail mm -hmm. has been, you know. Okay. It's not mandatory. 
So it's not mandatory yeah. now. It was mandatory. It was we mandatory. Yeah. A few years ago, yeah. it was mandatory. But I'll let you call the shots on that. Yeah, but we've been, we, there's been tours out there, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not been whenever before the meeting. Whenever you get one set up, just let me know, and then we'll let this committee know. Right. And the reason why I was asked is because we got so much effect in both committees, and, and you and I are on both mm -hmm. uh, public safety and property management. We got a lot going on out there in jail with the brick remediation and the kitchen and stuff. Like now, <clears throat> if one of you committee members have a, a big concern, the sheriff is here. You can just call him up anytime. Oh. I, I, he, he's I, very, very good at that. I, I've been he, out there numerous he, times myself and done inspections in the jail. Right. I know some other commissioners have, and yeah. he's carried me around and been, right. been glad to do it. And, and I, I He's just, glad to take you yes. through any of your tour anytime. Let me know. I'll give you a special tour. But, right. but we got to make sure it's, it's one, one commissioner. Sure. If there's two commissioners show up out there, we got, got to be <laughs> We're in trouble. Hey, is that right, Mr. Taylor? <laughs> We're in trouble. I want to make sure we clear that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so the chairman of public safety will let us know when this tour is set up. And then yep. I'll let them Sheriff and I will get, we'll get, we'll work on it. Okay, you could bring up a time since, and give him some idea, the committee members. Give them some idea what time maybe to be looking at for the uh, I, Hopefully in the next. No, no, about like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Six. I figure 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. By, by the time get, you know, 5, 30, 6, it's people time to get off work. Yeah. And, okay, you know. 6 o'clock. Okay. Sounds good. So just let us know. Any other business? Not. I entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Please adjourn. <laughs>